WHDD presents Susan Says. Well, I told you so. For months, well, for years I've been saying there will be riots in the streets. I didn't know exactly where, but I was kind of in the area. That piece of you-know-what in the White House was encouraging it, inciting it, treason. And pretending to have been robbed, the election was stolen, yeah. His one-hour Nazi-like comedy sketch, ranting and raving rally and doing shtick and voices and quoting himself being called sir on and on and on yeah i watched the whole darn thing faux news showed it the other two networks did not i wish everyone had seen it because he's insane oh yeah and he always has been i told you so he knew what he was doing riling up those maskless maga morons Yeah, the deplorable mental midgets, I will call them as I see them now, because we are now a you-know-what whole country. This is who we are, so stop saying we're not this. Yes, we are. Someone said on Twitter, maybe he did it on purpose so he could declare martial law and negate the election. Well, that's a thought. His internet sources, QAnon, his right-wing supporters, those, quote, unquote news nets. They all told us it was coming. It's a date, January 6th. Be there, be square. And they came. They flew, they drove, they crawled. Why were there no National Guard on site immediately? The mayor asked for it. Why was a terrorist sitting on the dais of the United States Senate and another sicko sitting in Nancy Pelosi's chair? Nazi sympathizers, other crazies. Why? Hmm. Faux news reporters were stunned, shocked, and sad. Aw, well, you created it, you own it, even though now you do acknowledge it. And his spawn, those freeloading criminal kids are saying, oh no, gosh, we support you and love you. Go home, wink, wink. And Junior said, we're coming for you. Yeah, into your yards, Mike Pence. So much for the kissing up on all those years. How's that going for you, Mike? Insane Rudy yelling for combat. Well, he got it. The real president, Biden, made the appropriate speech, his tone, and said that the pretender should go on TV and speak and calm things down. So he did. But what did he say? I won. They stole it. We love you, protesters, i.e. terrorists. Go home now, but I was robbed. Wine, wine. Are you kidding me? Every Republican who didn't vote for impeachment and was protesting this election owns it. Ted Cruz and that new jerk Hawley and the six other seditious senators, you own this. Oh, and now the deplorables will all go back home and spread the COVID to other massless morons. Thank God for Georgia, are reclaiming the Senate in some sanity. This is who we are now, people. Mourn for democracy. Pray it starts again January 21, but this ain't over yet. I'm mad as hell. Even faux news reporters came out and said, you know who incited it. So if you lose Fox, well, and the New York Post called him a sore loser who encouraged riots. Yeah. PBS reported that aides in the White House are scared that he's totally out of control and insane. Well, it's too late for the 25th Amendment, but there should be, there must be consequences. Censure is a start, then a trial for sedition, inciting treason. I don't care what the charges are, but it must be done. Add to it playing golf while Americans are dying in droves from a pandemic he never believed in and never mentions. Throwing a net over his head and putting him in a straitjacket would work for me, but I won't hold my breath. We thought 2020 was bad. Ha, huh, I told you so. Susan Silver was one of the original writers of such TV classics as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud and Bob Newhart. She lectures and teaches sitcom writing and had a column on the New York Social Diary called The Search for Mr. Adequate. She hasn't found him yet. Appearing on TV and radio often, she expresses her views on life and opinions on everything.